Hey Aries, this is Soul and Aries, we're going to look at some energies for you this week starting July 11th and ending July 17th, 2022. The messages will be for Aries suns, moons, Aries rising signs, uh, singles, couples, Aries who are into same sex loving energies. Aries, I hope all is well. Um, I hope you guys had a very safe and wonderful 4th of July celebration. And also too, I want to thank all the Aries or, uh, you know, contributors to my channels through the uh, super thanks that I completely forgot about that I enabled and I was trying to figure out where all this contribution stuff was coming from uh, so I didn't you know acknowledge or recognize it last week but I am doing it this week I really do appreciate you guys for supporting me and my channel and I'm very you know I'm deeply humbled I'm deeply humbled so thank you so much anyway so um, I'm using the black tarot to deliver your messages this week Aries uh, so let's get into your energies Without further ado, our messages for Aries suns, moons, and Aries rising signs. Oops. All right, Aries, let's begin with your first energy. The very first card is the... Whoop. Ten of Cups. There you go. Weddings, celebrations, picnics, barbecues, just getting together possibly with family members, friends, enjoying each other's company. The emotional level is high. What you give, you get back. It's an even number of cups. It could be the formation of new relationships of all kinds as well. Uh, you know, platonic, romantic, definitely, um, you know, spending that quality time, significant time with your, um, you know, your partners, your family, your children, extended family, you know, platonic friends and so forth. So there's a um, need to celebrate in a good emotional way. And because this card opens us up, Aries, it feels like that's going to be the theme for you for the week. Having to um, not only, you know, get yourself involved in terms of expressing your emotional side to others, then the others coming in expressing their side to you as well. Even exchange. Ten of Cups represents Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So your shadow is the Seven of Cups. So options. The card that represents illusions as well uh, there may be multiple things for you to pick and choose from I just you know I pulled this card in Pisces uh, reading and I explained to him that you know we have to deal with situations because I you know oftentimes equate the seven of cups in terms of illusions with that of the devil and the moon so when you're dealing with situations Aries always deal with it as it's being presented to you and not uh, how you want the uh, situation to be in terms of any of uh, expected outcomes deal with realism here and then when the people show you who they are these are the other cups other you know connections that you may have which could be romantic platonic uh, family members extended family members and friends so listen don't take that what I just said because I've been explaining in this and whenever the seven of cups has been showing up that you need to understand that when I say that a person shows you who they are it's never to be taken in a negative connotation kind of way no because the person can still show you who they are and the feelings that they express could be so genuine that um you know that you'll be able to you know recognize that energy so don't be mistaken by that So you need to understand that, you know, when I say a person shows you who they are, it could be either they are showing you their true selves and it's genuine or they can show you their true selves and it may not be genuine. You have to be the discerning factor. Seven of Cups is in your shadow, represents Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. If there are any options to, you know, pick and choose from this week, make sure that you are choosing and picking accordingly from the right cups because you don't want to pick from the wrong cups, uh, Aries, and, you know, because it always comes back and haunt you or bite you in your behind and you don't want that all right still a beautiful card however following the ten of cups here uh, for you aries we have the eight of wands so the eight of wands is good communication effective communication this is anything related to those aries who may have been online shopping and you know you were on amazon you were on etsy whatever your favorite shopping site is macy's that package that you ordered is on its way it could be that you're waiting for some important mail or other uh, significant important news to arrive it's coming 
it is coming. Whatever you need to express to others, being that it follows the Ten of Cups, will be well received. And then whatever information that comes from others to you, it will be well, you know, well received by you as well. So great communication. I see a lot of communication in terms of uh, texting energy. Somebody is receiving something uh, through the mail. Um, of importance and actually too this might put a great or grand smile on your face all right so there we go eight of wands represents your energy aries leo and sagittarius now we have the five of cups okay the five of cups is here and the Five of Cups generally just represents a disappointment or some sort of emotional loss. It may not be you personally, Aries. It may be somebody else. It could be your children. It could be your romantic partner. Someone just feeling some type of way. I oftentimes talk about that when the Five of Cups shows up here, it's temporary energy. So you're not going to be feeling sad and, um, you know, like you lost something forever. No, it mirrors the um, Ten of Cups. So again, it's the relationships or the connections that you have, uh, but it may not be you on a personal level uh, sometimes you know we go, we'll get into those little fancy moves and whatnot and there's no one who is being responsible or a situation that may be responsible for us feeling that way we're just going through chemical dumps in our brains we all go through that and it's the shifting of energies sometimes we accumulate too much of one thing and it needs to be expelled so that the uh, energy can be balanced out five of cups here represents cancer scorpio and pisces following the five of cups now we have the oh i just talked about that devil now here she is the devil is here. This is talking about toxicity, uh, relationships that need to be addressed, bad habits that need to be addressed. Only you know that, Aries, not me. Um, the devil is about restrictions and being held uh, and bound to a situation, person, or event. This is a form of a you know obsession. So you could be obsessing over someone or someone could be obsessing over you. Someone could be working too much. Okay. That's part of an addiction. Someone could be dealing with, um, you know, drugs, alcohol, substance abuses. It may be somebody that you know. It may not be you, but it may be somebody that you know has a drinking problem, has a smoking problem, possibly has a sexual addiction, gambling problem, or somebody, including yourself, is working too many hours. And if you are, then you need to pull back devil's asking you to address that so that you can restore some sort of balance back into your life because if you're working so much Aries then that means another part of your life is suffering personal family something is something's got to go break the chains of the devil's influence and then free yourself um, from that energy Because it follows the five of cups and I said it could be other people associated or, you know, there's a loss or it may be that you're sad that, you know, um, it could go one or two ways. Either you're sad because you, you've you're dealing with some sort of addiction on a personal level and you know that it's not good for you and other people, um, your addictions probably are affecting other people. And or you know somebody, whether it's in the family, your uh, romantic partners, friends, co-workers, whatever, they may be dealing with the addictions. And then they may be the one who is feeling, you know, a loss or feeling sad or disappointed. I just get a feeling of being let down here with the five of cups that uh, the devil is following. Letting down. Someone let you down or you're letting someone else down. And it's based on the devil's influence. Devil represents Capricorn, um, Taurus, and Virgo. Let's move on. It's a major arcana. Next card up is the Hermit. Okay. It's introspection. Soul searching. Detaching your energies on a temporary basis. Uh, pulling your energies inward. Uh, this could be just meditation for some of you. Um, sneaking away. 
uh, momentarily just to catch up on reading a book that you just don't have an opportunity otherwise to read or catch up on. This is downtime, me time, alone time. It's temporary too. If you have to do some uh, meditations or you know deep soul searching or introspection and whatnot, normally you go within and and you know you figure things out and then you usually come out with the uh, answer. So uh, Herman is neutral energy for me. It represents Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Following the major arcana of the Hermit, now we have the Two of Wands. So again, you're waiting for something or so someone to arrive. I always talk about slow movement when it comes to, um, you know, it could be projects, it could be relationships, there's some sort of stagnation and some form of energy or, yeah, in some form of energy that may be occurring around you. Could be just what I said about the eight of wands, even though it's going to be, you know, the packages are coming, the, the mail coming, uh, waiting for that energy. It's coming. For others, it's just the formation of ideals, planning things, writing things down for the future. Unless the last four cards involve any movement, six of swords, three of wands, um, chariot, six of swords, three of wands, six of wands. Six of Swords, Six of Wands, Three of Wands, and the Chariot. Those four cards. All right, so the uh, Two of Wands here representing Fire, uh, Aries, you, Sagittarius, and Leo. Now we have the Ten of uh, Swords, two Tens. You already received the Ten of Cups as your opening energy. Definitely a completion or a cycle is that's you know it's going to end for you. If some of the areas out there that I'm reading for may have been dealing with some sort of stressful uh, energies, and doesn't necessarily have to be uh, high or extensive. Well, if you were, then that energy is about to move away from you. A new cycle of energy is to open up. Anybody who is uh, undergoing surgery, I pick up surgical procedures, inpatient, outpatient surgical procedures again it may not be you Aries it may be somebody that you know and it could be um, any types of uh, surgeries cosmetic uh, you know oral dental um, could be like you know having your knee replaced your hip some sort of operation is very painful it's going to be painful but hopefully they're medicated to ease that pain and that too will not last very long but the most important thing here is that there's a completion of energy for you and then the opening of the new energy is always positive ten of swords represents gemini libra and aquarius uh up next now we have the moon card revelations secrets coming to the forefront uh the um moon just like the seven of cups and look, the Seven of Cups, the Devil, and the Moon, because these are the three cards that have that cast of illusion that I always talk about. So now you have the uh, triple energy here, and this is always paying attention to um, not only your intuition, because that's what the Moon, uh, you know, uh, exemplifies, um, but it also too is the revelation. Things that were once hidden comes to the forefront. This could be anything related to someone's feelings towards you. Um, it, you know, the um, level of the moon in terms of the emotional aspects, sometimes, you know, it could be so high, sometimes it could be, you know, driven so low. So we got to be careful to make sure that we're always trying to strike a balance and keep those mental energies in the middle uh, because this can cause, you know, a little bit of the blues and we don't want that um, someone including you Aries could be going deeper uh, with your feelings someone could be expressing how much they love you uh, how much they may be falling in love with or they're telling you they're falling in love with you that's the moon so it represents Pisces um, Cancer and Scorpio Major Arcana one two three you got three major arcanas up next we have the six of pentacles this is the card of generosity this is the card of gifts this is the card of pay raises also it could be someone getting a job apology forthcoming if there was some sort of slight um that was handed to you even number of pentacles so that means the apology comes out to you you accept it um and that's what balances the energy off. So the Six of Pentacles here represents Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. I do get some sort of form of generosity. Um, underneath the Devil card, I, I spoke you know, briefly about someone is working too much. That would be my link there. Um, that someone is focusing too much of their energy on their work. And then there's some other areas that is suffering. The Five of Cups. 
romantic or it could be your social life or you know your romantic life something is suffering could be suffering all right final card for you aries in this reading is the um ooh, what is that that's the four of pentacles now so the four of pentacles you can see the butterfly that's trapped in the web so some of you could have some sort of financial concerns um money being tied up um when it comes to love and affection withholding of love and affections towards someone someone could be you know withholding that love and affection towards you the, the butterfly here went in too far and he got snatched by that web now he's trapped for the spider to come along and eat him so there's the um you know aspect of something going on with you know your finances maybe there's some sort of entanglement going on with your finances uh, only you know. I'm just throwing out certain things that I feel that could be uh, what's happening with you. Someone could just be getting caught up financially. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo represents that four of pentacles. And this is what I have for you, Aries, this week. Just, you know, me interpreting the cards is uh, potential energy to open up. If it touches bases with you, then so be it. If not, don't worry about it, all right? Just enjoy this week ahead. Be safe, be well. Keep smiling for me, Aries, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.